To peek into files in Linux, we can use the head and tail command. So for example, we have a file here called schedule.csv. It's a pretty long file. Let's say that we only wanted to look at just a few lines at the beginning of the file. So if we type head and then the file name, we'll see the first 10 lines in the file. We can also look at a certain number of lines by using dash n and then naming how many lines we want. For example, five. By default, the program is going to display 10 lines. Similarly, we can look at a certain number of bytes by using the C command. And it'll just show us the first 50 bytes in this example. The tail command works similar, but it's going to show us the last 10 lines. And again, we can modify it with dash C to show the last 50 bytes, or we can use dash N to show the last arbitrary number of lines, such as five. The tail command has another useful feature. It can keep an eye on files for you and print out whatever happens at the end of the file if the file gets something added into it. It's called follow. So for example, if we follow the rockethistory.txt file, we'll get printed out the last 10 lines, and then the prompt will wait for the file to change. So let's open up a new terminal. We'll go into the downloads directory. And we see that the file is in there. And let's add something to the end of the file. And when we add hello to the end of the file, we see that the follow command prints out the change at the end of the file. 